Let's program and be creative in 3D and VR. It's time for Unity. Welcome to Unity Learn. In this Unity Learn project, we are going to create your first Unity project. We're going to follow the steps in order to download Unity and also get you set up interacting with some Unity game objects. So let's get started. You can see here, welcome to Unity. Unity is the world's leading real-time creation platform. Well, what is real-time creation platform? Unity's platform, also called a game engine, lets anyone create powerful video, games, or other real 2D or 3D applications. Using Unity is like having a team of hundreds of engineers backing you up working on systems that mostly games share physics, graphics, rendering, control inputs, so you can concentrate on the parts of the application that are unique and expressive. Why is it called a real-time platform? Video games are real-time experiences because they respond instantly to player input. Every image you see on a monitor or in your VR headset is built by a computer and pushed to that display in a fraction of a second, sometimes hundreds of times a second. In contrast, computer animated movies are not real time. Artists labor for years to create amazing and beautiful 90 minute movies that play back the same way each time. Though Unity is also leading a revolutionary in real time movie making. What things can be made with Unity? Games you might have heard of like Pokemon Go, Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft, Monument Value, and tons more. Let's click on this tons more so we can see. So these can show you a bunch of things made with Unity. Faxman Dreams and Trinity. And this is the link that you, you can actually just do search for made with Unity. And you can see, you will find it here, which gets me back to that same page. So feel free to look up and see what has been made with Unity. There's a bunch of things that's been really creative. But can I do that with Unity? Is it really for me? In VR Coding 1, we're going to learn all about Unity. Let's watch this video to help you explain. So there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and press mark step as complete. In step two, you can see we're actually going to install Unity. So here we go. Here is the video on how to install Unity. Welcome to Unity. If you're watching this, it's probably because you're interested in getting started with Unity and learning how to create with it. The good news is that you've come to the right place. I'm Matt Shell, and I'm an online evangelist here at Unity Technologies. I'm going to walk you through how to download and set up the Unity Editor and take you through your first steps in this powerful creative software. To help you build your first game in as little as 30 minutes, you'll choose a template and start exploring the infinite creative possibility. The first step to get started is to download the Unity Editor. Maybe you've already started. If not, we'll put a link to download Unity in the description box of this video. After clicking the download link, you'll download the Unity Hub setup. Unity Hub is a lightweight launcher application that will download and launch the larger Unity Editor application. We'll need to install it first. After launching the Hub setup, you'll be presented with Unity's license agreement. Next, you'll be prompted for a location to install the Unity Hub application on your hard drive. Once the Hub installation is complete, click Finish to run Unity Hub. You may be prompted to allow access to your firewall depending on your operating system. Now you're ready to download the Unity Editor. Select a drive location with enough free space and click Install. The Unity Editor will begin downloading at this point. While Unity is downloading, the next step is to create your Unity ID. Your Unity ID allows you to log into the Unity Editor. 
If you prefer, you can also create an ID with your Google or Facebook account as well. The next step is to choose what template you want to get started with. Templates are small game projects which allow you to get started learning Unity in a fun and easy way. We're going to choose the carding template. I'm going to name mine Mateo Card and click Continue. Now, depending on how quickly you race through the past steps and how fast the internet is where you are, hopefully Unity is finished downloading and we're ready to launch. Let's go! Clicking Launch Unity will open the Unity Editor. Since we're launching our carding game for the first time, Unity will need to do some loading and compiling of the scripts and shaders included. This happens the first time you open or load a new project, but will be much faster next time. Now, welcome to the Unity Editor! Hopefully, you'll be spending a lot of time with us here. We'll stop here, just as things are getting exciting, and in the next video, we'll start walking you through Unity's in-editor walkthroughs. So I'm going to mark that step as complete, but well, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over to unity.com. We're actually going to click on get started and you can see, I'm going to accept all cookies for unity. You can see unity does offer for pay, but don't get discouraged. I want to click on individual and you can see student is free. And personal is free. So I'm just going to click on student. Access Unity 3D development process, professional, get access. And you can see apply for a student development package. You can do these things here. Oh, and if you don't want to go this route, authorize with a GitHub. If you have a GitHub account to a university, you can get access. For my high school students, let's just go back. And you can see here, you can get a free version of Unity for personal use. This is if your funding is less than 100,000 in 12 months. As a student, you're not making $100,000 on a Unity game that you've just created. So we're going to do this. You can do this. This is more for um, uni university students that are already tied to, for example, Georgia Tech or Florida State, and you have a GitHub account. You can log in and get access to everything. If you don't, if my high school students right now in virtual reality coding, you're going to sign up for a personal account. So we'll click on get started and you can see first time users and returning users. You are a first time user. So we're going to go here and download this. So I'm going to click on start I'm going to click on agree. It is downloading. I'm simply going to save it in my downloads. I already have it. I'm going to go ahead and replace it and Let's go through and install Unity. This will pop up if you're on a Mac. If you're on a Windows, simply follow the steps and run through. I already have Unity, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. You can see an older item with Unity Hub already exists in this location. Do you replace it with the newer one? I'm going to go ahead and push replace. And then I'm done with that. And now Unity has been installed. Let's go back over here. Now that I've installed that, I'm going to press Mark Complete. Install the Unity Hub. You can see I just did this step with you. New users download the Unity Hub here. If I click on that, it's going to take me back to that page. So I did a, I moved a little bit faster than I should have, but if I click on this, you're going to install it. I'm going to go ahead and Mark Complete. So now I'm going to go down to step four and let's go ahead and launch Unity. So I'm going to come here and you can see Unity Hub's right there. I'm going to click open. Install Unity 29 downloading, installing 10 point gigs of space is currently available on this. Select the install location. I'm going to click install. Here is the setup. It's downloading right now, but what I want to do is go ahead and create my Unity account. I already have one. And there we go. Downloading Unity is still happening, but here we're going to start. My first game, you can choose cart. We're actually going to go over all of these 
I'm gonna click continue. Verify my age, click continue. I'm gonna push agree. And you can see almost there, when Unity has finished downloading, you will be one step closer to building your first game. You will know it's time to launch Unity button appears, click it, then Unity will import some files. Please be patient as this can take some time. You can see I'm currently at 33%. First game, uh, it was not good. It was so bad. It was just extremely buggy. I mean, it was a mess. Like none of us knew what we were doing. Oh my god, it was horrible, but worth it. <laughs> Making games is a hard craft on its own. It is probably intimidating. It's challenging. It's really hard. But you have this whole community that can help you out with anything. You have a ball of clay in your hands, a ball of digital clay. I don't have to necessarily create my magnum opus on the first try. Like decide that I'm gonna make a character walk around today and that's it, don't get distracted by, oh, I can do light mapping, oh, I can do this, like, oh, I can do that. There are a lot of other people you can draw on. Do things a piece at a time. That's the way to learn Unity, it's the way to learn game development. And, uh, you know, try to do that with friends, if you can. You know, thousands of people who've made incredible games have got there, games that you'll have played, no doubt. Um, have all been in exactly the same place as you are right now. You'll have created an entire world, even if it's a small world, you'll have created a living world that didn't exist before. And there's nothing more powerful than that. It's important that you show some grit and resilience. Keep on with it. You get there. You'll be so happy that you did it. My name is Matthew Wagner, and I'm one of the earliest users of Unity back when it was version 1.6. My name is Alexander Canosta. My name is Murari Vasudevan. I'm Samantha Kalman. I'm Will Goldstein. I'm Stephen Kavagal, and welcome. 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 I am Joachim Anta, and welcome to Unity. So that's a cool video. It tells you you should stick with it. We're at about 50%. Got a little bit more to go. Then we're going to launch Unity. While this is still downloading, create a Unity ID. This is step four. I'm going to press Mark Complete. Scroll down here. Create your first project. We're waiting for it to create. And then we're going to start following these steps. And we're pretty much going to be done once we explore. So create your first project. I'm waiting for it to download. I'm going to press mark complete. Let's just go over this. Start creating with the in editor tutorials. After you create your Unity ID, select a micro game template as your first Unity project and give it a name. Since you're new to Unity, don't select empty 3D because that one isn't a micro game. The free micro games are simple, ready made games that you can mod and personalize while learning the basics of Unity. When you launch Unity with a micro game, interactive lessons call.